today I am going to share something that I just created recently to help myself as well as a tip. I honestly can't remember if I've shared this before, so I'm going to go ahead and share it today. <laughs> I had a ton of sayings and statements that I had collected over the years and I actually put them in a binder. I'll go ahead and take a second to show you that right now. I have what I call my feel better binder and this is what it looks like. One day I'll actually do a video on the whole binder itself. But right now I'll just show you um, the sayings and things that I had collected over the years. So I had been writing down all these sayings that I used to um, encourage myself, to spur myself, to do hard things, um, so on and so forth. And I liked having them in this notebook because this is the notebook I pulled out to journal. Um, this is the notebook where I write my personal goals, um, so on and so forth. So it made sense to have all of this content, all of these sayings in my notebook. However, I noticed that uh, because it was stuck in a notebook, I wasn't always seeing these sayings and statements um, daily, or at least not throughout the day, which is when I wanted to see them. Because sometimes when I pull out this binder, I just go to one of my sections to write. I don't always, obviously, read through every section of the notebook. Um, again, another video, another day. But I wanted to find a way to get these sayings and statements out in front of my eyes throughout the day to actually help myself and encourage myself. So then I started writing them just out on plain index cards and then um, putting them around my office using magnets. This is just a magnet clip. I clip it and then stick it on my um, board by my desk so I can see it. And then to do these, it was really simple. In fact, let me go ahead and and show you I have a stack. Sometimes while I was watching TV, I would just pull out my, um, I think they're Creative S-Note markers by Sharpies. I love them because they don't bleed through the index paper, or excuse me, the index cards or notebook paper. So I use these pens quite a bit. And when I'm watching TV, I would just literally sit there and draw a box around index cards. Um, I could do it while I was thinking of things. It didn't require a lot of uh, attention. And I don't. I didn't want it to look perfect. Um, unfortunately, well, fortunately, I'm a recovering perfectionist. Let's put it that way. I'm learning that done is better than perfect. So I'm trying to find the beauty and um, I'm just appreciating things not being perfect more. And I, I, I like that hand drawn look now. So this is literally just a stack of cards that I've made with um, the frame around it. And then I just would write in whatever saying or statement I wanted to with uh, a regular Sharpie. You could also use a, um, uh, what is it called? Papermate flare pens would work well for this as well. So I went from doing this, which I loved, but one day the psoriatic arthritis in my hands was hurting so bad I couldn't hold a pen, um, which got me depressed, which put me into a whole vicious cycle. Not a good thing. So I thought, okay, well, I don't, I didn't want to stop this process because I found it to be very helpful. And so instead what I did is um, I gave myself a day off. I didn't write all day. I wore my braces, um, soaked my hands in hot water, long story short. Um, I waited till a day or so later when I was actually feeling a little better and I decided, you know what, these sayings might be able to help somebody else as much as they're helping me. So I went through all my sayings that I'd collected and I typed them up. And not only did I type them up, I formatted them to be able to print on just regular old two by four mailing labels. and. This is what I use. I find them all, I find packages of these all the time at thrift stores for a buck or two. And even if I'm not doing that, you can get um, a whole package of 100 labels for usually around five bucks on Amazon. That's how much, how much I paid for these. And I like the True Block in particular because it's a heavier weight label. So 
Actually, in the description box for this video down below, I'm going to leave some links to download three sample pages of um, some statements that I made. And I actually, I sell a bunch of different collections of these on Etsy. I sell a set of 50 affirmations, a set of 50 intentions, a set of 50 uh, creative cues, 50 unstuck strategies, um, so on and so forth. Um, perhaps my favorite is my and statements. And actually, let me share that with you as well. I have, oh, I can't get to it. I have a huge picture of just the and simple, the ampersand. And it reminds me that um, while two statements might initially seem to be in conflict from one another or with one another, that isn't always the case. Two um, presumably or at first glance negative things can simultaneously exist. And I call those my and statements. I have 50 of those available as well. But down in the description box below, you can find three links and that's to three sample pages of 10 statements each. And um, they're just PDFs and um, you can just print them out on regular paper like this. And you'll notice that each one has a colored box around it. And I've used a different colored box for each different set. Um, or you can, or you could also print them out on cardstock and then cut them out and make your own little cute, cuter, smaller size cards. However, like I said, I formatted these to print on two by four labels because that way when I was not feeling great and couldn't write, I could still um, easily have access to them. And that's what I'm going to show you today. For example, let's take out my and statements. This is my little box, which I'm going to talk to you about in a second here. So I printed them out on these labels. And this is what it looks like when you print them on the label. It doesn't go all the way to the edge. So you got plenty of clearance. But then you just take the labels off and then put them on index cards. And then that way you can feel free to use and abuse these. Yeah, you know, if it gets really um, icky or torn or dirty, n no harm, no foul. You can just print a new label and slap it on an in index card and you've got it. Or maybe you really want to focus on one statement or one saying for a week and you print the same one multiple times. Um, they could be used any number of ways, but each collection that I sell on Etsy has 50. But getting back to the and statements, let me share the one that I've included free in the link down below. And that would be these. And like I said, these are my favorite because um, my life personally usually feels um, immensely like a contradiction. And so I need to remind myself that um, I can be afraid and I can do it anyway. I cannot know everything and I can still move forward. I can make mistakes and still succeed. So in other words, all of these start with something negative or something that seems to be in conflict with something else, but is followed by an and and reminds me how they can live um, together. I can have weaknesses and still be capable. I can have struggles ahead and a bright future. I can have concerns and still move forward with confidence. This I'm working on. You know, none of us are going to know everything, um, but that doesn't mean we can't be confident um, because we can be confident in our skills and we can be confident in the knowledge that we're going to gain more learning and we're going to figure out what we need to know while we get while we're in the process of getting there. So I, I just find all of these statements to be a huge benefit to me and I wanted to give them as a gift to you and then if you like them and you want more, um, I'll leave a link to the different um, card sets in the description box as well, including the free ones and then the Etsy listings. But the other thing I wanted to briefly share is um, sometimes I like to take my deck of index cards with me somewhere in the house and unfortunately or fortunately, however you see it. Um, I use little Like It bricks from the um, organizer store, and I actually did a video on this a while back. And I've also used plastic shoe boxes, but they don't have lids that necessarily snap on tight or they don't fit the index cards perfectly. Well, I found this, and this is a Sistema Lunch Cube, it's called. And as you can see, it's the perfect width, it's the perfect height, 
and it fits a huge number of cards. And not only that, there is a plastic divider in there, but there is a bit of hacking that has to be done. Oh, and, and the biggest thing I like about this is it has a lid. I can drop this and the cards aren't going to go anywhere. And the clip is very easy for my arthritic hands to use and to open and close. So let me show you that little plastic. Uh, there's a little plastic divider in here. And I love that because it kind of keeps my cards standing up and better organized. But I love this because um, it's not too heavy when full, so it's easy for me to move around. And I organize um, different card sets in different um, containers. So I wanted to show you how I hacked one of these to use for index cards because, again, I love the, these. find them all the time at thrift stores, usually two to three bucks. Or if I really want one and I uh, don't have energy or time or patience to wait, then you can get them on Amazon for, oh, I don't know, about eight, eight bucks at most. Um, but this is not exactly how it comes. So I was lucky and found one at the thrift store just yesterday. And ha, huh, look, it matches the one I have. Yay! Um, the camera's not showing it very well. These are purple, not blue. But um, I wanted to show you how I take this and turn it into something I can use for index cards. So I paid $1.99 for this. And let's open it up and take a look. I always make sure there's no cracks. So if you see one at the thrift store, make sure there's no cracks. Make sure it's in good condition. So let's open this up. Now, again, this is called a lunch, a Sistema, S-I-S-T-E-M-A cube. It's a lunch cube. So when you open it up, you're going to see two parts. You see the bottom part here that has the plastic divider. And again, I like that. I leave that. But over here on this side, there is a flap, presumably to store a sandwich. Um, and this flap, if you look over here on the side here, there's a little tab. This flap opens up. Like I said, you put a sandwich or whatever in there. But we don't need this. In fact, this is what will keep index cards from fitting. It should be obvious, but let me show you. <laughs> so obviously, that, that's just not going to work. The card would get smushed. But it's very simple. All you have to do is take this off. And I bend it a couple times to get that plastic um, real loose and easy for me to cut. And I just take a normal pair of scissors. If you have kitchen scissors, all the better. You could even do it carefully with a utility knife. Um, I'm always paranoid of cutting myself. Um, so I just... I prefer to use the scissors and I literally just cut it off um, clean up that edge there a little bit but it's it's very easy to do and then once that's cut off sometimes I even run this through the dishwasher <laughs> um, they are dishwasher safe which is great and then as you can see now that we've cut this plastic flap off you can very easily cards in there and it's just just the perfect size and I, I recognize that there are other plastic um, boxes intended specifically for index cards but I have a hard I've had a hard time finding them with either one any kind of latching lid or two a uh, latch that was not only secure but easy um, for my hands for my fingers to actually work and so these have actually been an absolute um, Godsend. I love them. Um, so I hope that this tip and the free sayings um, down below, like I said, don't forget to download those and use those. I hope they help you as much as they've helped me. Um, anyway, I hope they help you out and I hope they encourage you, inspire you, and um, help get you unstuck when you need some motivation. Thanks so much for watching and if you don't mind, um, leave a comment in the video. Let me know if you like this kind of video and please like and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.